Hello everyone, I'm back again and I have decided since we are getting so close to Halloween that I wanted to do some retro horror reviews and um, before, I, before I go on and talk about my review, um, I just want to bring up my little outlet on the side over here. I know everyone talks about it and it does look like a pig snout or a surprised face. Um, the problem is if I move over this way where I film, you see too much of my room. Um, and then if I move over this, this way too much, I'm kind of like hitting the wall and this is the best place to film in the house. So kind of to deal with this little pig snout surprise face outlet in all my videos. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, I'm going to get on with my review of uh, what some or most would say is the greatest horror film ever made, and that is The Exorcist. And I know that I have um, reviewed this before on my channel back in the day, like years and years ago, and I figured it's such a popular horror film, um, great film overall, that I had to do it again for this Halloween. I hope you enjoy it. Um, here we go. So I you. want to start off by talking about the excellent performances. Ellen Burstyn as the mom is wonderful. Um, she really, um, you kind of don't really feel for her in the beginning. They kind of play her off as very like, um, like Hollywood, you know, um, kind of like arrogant and she's surrounded by all this help, you know, and uh, by the end of the movie, you just feel for her completely, obviously. And uh, Ellen Burson does such a good job um, really portraying the character's journey throughout the movie. And um, Linda Blair, for a child actor to have to not only, I mean, it's hard enough being a child actor, um, trying to act in anything. I feel like this was super, super hard. And I feel like it could have gone really bad with the wrong child actor. And I feel like Linda Blair, um, it, she just, it's so weird because it's like, how did this young girl, like, know how to just make it? I mean, the voice coming out is like a creepy man's voice, you know what I mean? But she, it really sells in her looks and her, um, physical performance and just knowing and, um, reading about the stuff that happened on set, like, uh, when they had her like thrashing around the bed and the bed was like shaking and apparently she broke like a rib or something shooting that scene. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's like, they put her... <laughs> through the ringer, and it is amazing the performance that they got out of her. Um, it's still fascinating to this day, I think. And um, the two priests, um, I'm, trying, I'm like trying to remember the actor's name, Max von Sydow, I should know, um, and Jason Miller were the two priests. And um, Jason Miller, you kind of follow the story through his eyes, kind of, um, and he's really the character you kind of, um, project yourself onto. You really, you really, um, sympathize with him from the beginning. You know his mother's died, um, he's really kind of, like, doubting his place in the priesthood, and it's like, you want this character to character to succeed because he is just so down on his luck and um Max von Zedow, um doesn't have as big of a part as Jason Miller but um he is so uh he makes such an impression he is definitely a force of nature Max von Zedow, just in general um I thought it was funny I was watching a um what movie was I watching? Uh, Shutter Island or something 
And I remember watching that and um, seeing Max on CDAO and not realizing that he was still alive. Um, it, I, I didn't know that he was as young as he was in that movie. Like, obviously, they put on, like, this old age makeup, but um, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> like, I thought, like, he was an old priest. Like, he should be dead. But, not should be dead, but um, it's just so cool. And then he was recently in The Force Awakens, so he is still acting. He is wonderful. He's a great actor. And um, that was what I wanted to talk about with the characters. The story, you can see how it shocked a generation of people. People in the 70s had not seen a horror film like this before. This was like the start of like the horror golden age. And um, it just, when you go back and look at some of the reactions that um, people had in the theater seeing it for the first time, you would never see that nowadays. We are so desensitized to everything. And it's just amazing the shock value and how they could really scare um, and put fear in people. And it's something, I mean, The Exorcist still holds up to this day. It plays on your fears. Um, it plays on death. And things people are still afraid of now, back in the day when people were maybe more really religious, um, I could see how this was <laughs> terrifying. And uh, it's just, it's just such a well shot, well choreographed um, film. And there's just scenes that just stick with you. And it doesn't matter that it was made, you know, 40 some years ago, it still is terrifying to this day, the scene where Raven comes down the steps and um, she pees in front of the whole, um, her mother's whole party. And uh, that is, it's like, it's like disturbing, it's like creepy. And I think like those parts, more than like the, you know, head spinning around, pea soup coming out, I think those really stick with you. and. The first time I watched The Exorcist, the um, the first scene that I, s well, that's not true. The first uh, edition, I guess, a director's cut, um, I saw was the one where she comes down the steps, like spider crawls down the steps, and it's just so. I think the perfect word for this movie is unsettling. It's unsettling that it's happening to this poor little girl, and and. Growing up and being a child, like, watching this film, you feel like, oh my goodness, like, no one is going to protect me. Like, I'm not protected. And that plays on everyone's fear. If you're a child, you realize, you know, your parents or whoever can't help you. Like, this is, for these are forces that you cannot control. And if you are a parent... It's terrifying being helpless, not being able to help your child. I just think that is so terrifying, and The Exorcist is a classic for a reason. I love this movie. Um, I mean, I don't want to put it on like a great scale, but I mean, obviously it's a classic for a reason, and it is one of my favorites. I watch it every um, year for Halloween, and I hope you enjoyed this little mini review. I know it was seven minutes. I kind of talked a little bit long. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be doing some more reviews. I kind of want to watch some horror movies I haven't seen before. So if you have any suggestions for horror movies, maybe like ones that are, you know, not rare, but uh, underrated that not a lot of people have seen. I would love to hear your suggestions and I would love to watch them for the first time and review them. So if you have any suggestions, you can comment down below. Um, but I will be posting these periodically until Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this so much and I will talk to you guys for my next review. Bye!